Steve. Steve. Swiss. Vin oh. Steve doesn't exist. It's Vin Vin. <laughs> yeah. Yippee. Oh, thank goodness. I wonder why, though. I feel like Steve is not a bad matchup for Joker. It's not a bad matchup, but I do think that J. Crew's better character, at least in his head, is going to be Min Min yeah. against Vitz. And I think uh, it's also one good way to kind of get around this Rebel Goods Garden. So if he starts to see him throw out that out a lot, well, I can just grab you instead. And that's a good punish. You can power up, you can get a lot more power, a lot more smash attacks, and a lot more damage. Yeah. I feel like it's kind of crazy to switch to Min Min here, but so far, so good. Like, you've been winning as Steve. You just took LRA start 2-1 as Steve. I forgot who he played before, but he beat them with Steve as well. Last time we saw him play Min Min, I think was against Zamba two sets, three sets ago. So like, hey, you know, if you're that confident in your character, you could break it out in between like that after, especially after just winning with Steve. I mean, like, go for it, man. But this seems pretty crazy to me. I mean, it's pretty crazy that uh, his two best characters are Steve and Min Min. Like, that is a heck of a roster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this is why we need the Uber tier. The Uber tier. <laughs> yeah. But we do have a very powered up Min Min. Trogdor online. Trying to catch that laser. Vitz is going to be recovering very low. And once our sun is there, maybe we see some megawatt action. Is the dragon named Trogdor? Yeah, it's the Burninator. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes, 100%. The, the dragon is named Trogdor. Yeah. Yes. It's the beefy arm. That's so funny. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Ram Ram. Oh my gosh, the laser covering every approach. Yeah. No longer powered up, but you know what? Those lasers are going to hit just as hard. Going off stage, not going to be enough though with that tether. When you're off stage, I don't care if you have the best recovery of the game in the game with that tether. Ram Ram is so scary. That thing just comes out, gimps you every time, but a good job by Beats to hold on to his jump before making it back, eating the Ram Ram hit, making it, but not eating that up throw. Jaker reminds me so much of Dumpling King in the way that he recovers with a character that, you know, normally will struggle against the character that excels off stage, like Joker. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Dumpling King, I asked him, you know, what makes you so good at Ganon? And he said, I just know how to recover. Yeah. Yeah, he will say, like, every single Ganon that he has played or every heavy, like, main, he's like, they just don't know how to recover. Yeah. Shout out to Dumpling King. We miss you, Dumpling King, wherever yeah. you are tonight. Yeah, for real. Hope it's worth missing the Xeno. J. Crew doing everything he can to stall out that Arsene, taking all the time to recover, but still, uh, honestly, not a bad trade because I feel like you're getting hit by a back air there if you're going to do that. He realized he was dead, so he switched to the Megawatt just to get that extra damage and maybe catch Veeds on just a stage spike. Yeah. And hey, you know, he racked up the damage, got him to 110, came down from that Angel uh, platform, racked up another 22. And uh, J. Crew doing a really good job of keeping Beats away. But Beats, on the other hand, switching it up, getting in with these back airs, getting in with these neutral airs, using guns, spacing it out. Oh, going oh, deep! Nope. All right, gets the tether. Now, these are characters that both have tether grabs. But Beats obviously going to be losing that once Arsene comes into play, and that's going to be J. Crew's opportunity to edge guard. Yeah, use that ram ram. Keep him, keep him off stage, make him go deep, and then maybe find something more committal, like a megawatt. I actually threw out the Megawatt, got that jump, a little bit of momentum. Trying to get that up there. Ooh. A good job of maneuvering around. It looked like J. Crew walked into that side B from, uh, from Beats. Barely missed the ground. Yeah, just spacing that out. That one gave me a little anxiety. Rebel guarding all the way to the bottom of the, of the stage. He needed it. But Didn't J. Crew matter. needed that stock even more. Yeah, good job by J. Crew being unfazed by that Rebel's guard, not even letting our Sen get the chance to come out taking the stock from Veeds and now J. Crew at 115, you know, you're, you're not getting our send anytime soon as Veeds, but you can still find a kill here with back air, yeah. maybe a drag down up smash. You have the options. Let's see if Veeds has one last surprise for us this stock. Is that a is that a persona reference? Maybe. No, uh, that was a good one. There it is. There's your surprise. Hey, right, there we go. It's the surprise. Yeah. Even stocks. Yeah, coming down to the wire here, loser semis. Uh winner of this gets to go play John Numbers. What a prize. Yeah, congratulations. Oh, and the re-grab almost missing from uh, Jay because of that uh, got hit by projectile kind of re-grab. And this pressure at ledge. Jaker just can't get on stage. Yeah, Beats locked in. And right when you think you're doing damage to Arsene, guess what? Or once you feel nope. like you're doing damage to Joker, guess what? Arsene's coming out. He's coming yep, back. You're oh, cooked. he you're body cooked. blocked him. That was so smart. Beats cooked that second, that last stop.
Veach was absolutely locked in, keeping Jay at ledge, not giving him any options, and now we're going to see the Steve come out. That's my guess. I think Jay's only option would have gone maybe just a little lower until the right, but even then so risky because yeah. Veach did it perfectly. It's like, you know what? That's not going to kill, but I can prevent you from even grabbing ledge. Yeah. Down throw, back air to almost kill is crazy. Oh, stay in min min. Because right there. No, thinking about it. Stay like body plot, because if you're blocking that ledge, right. you're not going to be able to tether grab. Yeah, big brain. V, it's all over it. And we are sticking with min min. Yes. I don't think that was a bad. No. I honestly don't think that was a bad match. No, he was up most of the game. <laughs> Jay, yeah, Jay was certainly up early game especially. But now you have to wonder, you know, I was up early game and then Veets came back. Does he kind of have the down low? I think so. I mean, Vita's ga new game plan is like once Jaku is at ledge, pressure, pressure, pressure. Yeah, but Jay doing a good job throwing these arms out, throwing out Trogdor. Trogdor! Trogdor, throwing him out. <laughs> and And really making Beats work off stage. Oh, finds the down throw. Not into the back air this time. Too high percent. I like Jay Cruz maneuvering around this platform, kind of holding center stage, but you know, jumping using that up special to actually just bounce on top. Beats is a fast character, but not fast enough to catch that up special. Yeah, and that was really nice by Beats running from under the Ram Ram to find the dash attack. You know, just good awareness that uh, Jay was going to throw that up and you have time to do that. It's good character knowledge. Oh, oh! Sick raindrop up air to the up smash through the platform. That was sick from Beats. J. Crew may be regretting the stage choice now. Ooh. Or not. Or not. Or not. Yeah, uh -oh. But yeah, but now you have yeah, these moments yeah. with that middle platform where Beats can easily do these drag down airs. Yeah. It's not an infinite, but it always looks like one. No, absolutely. And it looked like Beats tried to do something a little more fancy there instead of continue his up air string that he had. Ended up not paying off, and now J. Crew doing a great job of pushing this advantage. Looking for the Ram Ram off stage, not gonna find it. Drag down. Missed it. Yep. The platform saving J. Crew. The map pick coming back for him. <laughs> yeah, because J. Crew, I think what Vitz was looking for was J. Crew to actually slip off the side on the left. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the platforms are a little sticky in this game. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Ram Ram covering all those uh all those options with his neutral air. Oh, oh, this is the grab. Those are always so risky. It and looked like Jay thought about grabbing and was like, wait, I don't have enough time to do this. So he's like, I'm the dash back grab, and it did not work. Dang. It did not work. I can't grab. Let me grab another way. Yeah. And Beats was like, uh. Oh, uh, no double jump. This is bad. Nope. Still have it. Oh, opting for the Rebel's Guard, trying to get that Arsene up early. And with, with J Crew at 107, that is not a bad move. And here we go. Arsene is up. Where you are going to start to see some future baits here because Beats has realized that Jaker is just going to throw arms at stage while he's trying to recover. I'll get some free Rebels Guard. Yeah, but maybe we're going to start to see a bait where he's like, okay, Rebels Guard, and then uh, I'll just uh, edge guard you. No, yeah, yeah, just a little too far. Yeah, and similar to what you said before, it felt like Beats had every option covered there because he was falling with guns, but he was falling in front of ledge. So even if J Crew tried to throw out that up arrow, it's probably just going to collide, or up special, it's probably just going to collide with Beats. And sure, you eat the damage, but eventually Jay loses the stop. Now we do see a bit of a miss, not oh. one say a miss input, but Beats just wasn't ready for that Futsu out yeah. of shield. And J Crew holding center stage, shielding, getting these stray hits, yeah. boxing Beats to the corner. Are set up pretty quickly for Beats here, but not able to find any hits yet. Actually, Jay has been able to find everything. All right, Ram Ram, not very well spaced. Oh, but oh. getting the grab, nice jab check. That was an ankle breaker, but good gracious. As soon as Arsene's gone, Rebels Guard already half full, and Beats now pushing great down throw to back air. No. Oh, oh, oh. That was scary. Down smash covering a lot. Oh, you can't. Let's you go, Trogdor. You can't do that. The Rebels Guard filled it up halfway with that one hit, said, I need Arsene up now. Jay recognizing that. Not today. Not today. And yeah. now, Jay, one game away from making it to the John Numbers Losers Finals. But that was so risky. Was like I would love to see the replay again because I wasn't sure if it, the Beats just dropped it or if Arsen came out. No, no, no. Oh, he may have dropped it. Let's see here. Yeah, he dropped oh, it. Oh, he did drop yeah. it. Okay. J. Crew with just really good reflexes there. Or maybe. No, or, no, no. Might not have, he, no he, he dropped it. it. He yeah, dropped it. Was a, it was a punish. Yeah. Okay, okay. The beach just being like, man, Whoopsies. now it is on me. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like J. Crew was holding his breath that whole stock. 
Like a little bull in the face there. Yeah. Now, do we still stick with the Min Min or do we go with Steve? We stick with the Min Min. We just won with I the Min Min. Know. We play the last two games with the Min Min. You have inputted so much knowledge of this matchup up to this point. You don't throw it away after a win. It's not throwing it away. It's mixing up the opponents to be like, you're used to playing this character? Oh, you're try this character. You're mixing up yourself too, though, because Vita's whole game plan is going to change against uh, Steve compared to Min Min. Yeah. So I think you have a point. We're starting to see Jake do pretty well here at, at opening. Yeah. Not with that misinput, though. Oh, manages to make it back. What was that dive kick? <laughs> Beats finding the nair, looking for the guns to keep Jay from grabbing that ledge, but not going to work. Jay grabs ledge, makes his way back, and now is guarding Beats. Try to get that two frame Ooh, there with the down tilt, doing it again. Trogdor, so scary when you're off stage. You think you're safe, but then Trogdor uses his dragon breath. And you get burninated. And you get burninated, yeah. correct. And there's no counterplay to it. You just got to take it. You have to air dodge, and then instead of getting hit by Trogdor, you get hit by a megawatt. <laughs> 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 All right, but there we go. Ram Ram. That'll what an edge it. guard. Oh, yeah, just barely. Oh, just missing. And Joker, the recovery, you know? That thing can grab from the bottom of the stage, but not quite that far. What oh. a punish. Yeah, Jay feeling himself, finding that far grab. With I want to uh, point out one thing, uh, just uh, as a reminder, that when you take a hit, you cannot grab the fr uh, the ledge for 55 frames, and this still does apply to tether grabs. Mm. So that's what it is. I thought it was a body block last time. Yeah, uh, it's just like if you if you tap them, they can't touch it for nearly an entire second, which we know is a huge chunk of time when it comes to just straight up movement in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here we go. Rebels Guard just kind of stall the momentum. Yeah. Jake Crew holding there. Megawatt oh, finds the neutral get up. Yeah, neutral get up there. And it was looking so good for Beats. He got our set up. He found the down air up smash. Uh, was only at 57%. And Jay just running it, running it. And taking Beats all the way to the blast zone with that Megawatt. Finding the neutral get up. You can't do that there. He's remembering how to play arms. He's remembering those millions of compy souls. Yeah. The last arms believer. <laughs> finding Beats sticking to his guns, finding the narrative forward tilt, but it's not going to be enough. He has to push again? Jay off stage a little more. Oh. It worked the first time. It's going to work again. Yeah, fool me once. I'll get fooled again. <laughs> <laughs> fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Okay, fine. That's a Twitter clip. Yeah. <laughs> But that was just really well played. J Crew with just some great edge guarding there because you did have Arsene there. Yeah. Beats not able to recover because of the 55 frame window. Yeah, and there like, we go. Look, Beats brought it all the way back. Like he was he was down pretty big. And then like you're like, okay, maybe it's back to even. Yeah. Nope. J but, but look at this. The Ram Ram yeah. switched to the Megawatt. I don't think he was even like paying attention to it, charging it, because it can actually just cover a roll as well. Oh, so you really? kinda have to like jump away maybe. It's, it's yeah, a bit a of a 50-50 at that point, right? Then you get hit not by a or, or Ram Ram, yeah. Yeah. It's tough. Min Min is a tough character to play against. Yeah. You, have to, you have to sit down and play against a Min Min player for a while because I feel like that character plays so uniquely to the rest of the cast. Mm -hmm. I learned the hard way. I played Obese Fart. Yeah. I got beat. <laughs> and I'm like, I go back and I'm watching the VODs and I'm like, man, I just have to approach this so differently than yeah. a ton of other characters.